Welcome back. This is part 5 of the complete guide to starting a website. And in this video, we're going to tackle premium themes. Specifically, we're going to talk about elegant themes, which is who I've been using for my websites. I'll show you exactly how to use them today. So, why a premium theme? Well, I mentioned before, a premium theme gives you more options. It's usually built on a better foundation. They usually run faster with better designs. They're more customizable. Um, there's a lot of reasons that a premium theme is worth the money. Now, to get a custom designed website, it can cost you thousands of dollars. With premium themes, especially with, with elegant themes, you can get 77 different themes for just $39. Now, some premium themes can be much more. Often you'll see premium themes that you have to pay for each individual theme you use every time you use it. With elegant themes, you can pay one fee for the year and you can use 77 different themes on as many sites as you want. So let's get right into it. We're back at our website, learn how to start a website, and we're back to our last theme where we ended the last video. This is just one of those free themes. You'll notice it looks a little different than the last video. I took out all of that dummy text because I wanted to show you how I did that. Again, we're logged into WordPress and we're going to get started right off with elegant themes. So if you want to go through my affiliate link, go to learnhowtostartawebsite.com backslash elegant. And that takes us over to elegantthemes.com. I appreciate if you do use my affiliate link. That means I get a commission on the sale. But if you don't, that's okay. So at first I want to show you some of the themes. We're going to click view our themes and then they organize these based on when they release. So Nimble is their newest release. This just came out on October 5th and then from they're chronologically ordered but you can also sort through what type of site you're looking for. So we're going to look at business sites. There's a couple different models I want to show you here real quick. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to the second page of business and it's these top three that I want to show you so this first site is geared towards a restaurant a food type site the second one is elegant estate I've used this one actually helped my grandfather create a site and it's so easy my grandfather actually manage it, manages it himself um, this next one is my product so if you have a specific product maybe an ebook that you want to sell these are already geared towards that direction. So let's take a look at my product just for a second. So let's look at a live demo. So pretty easy, you could just drop in your product, you can put your price in, and you can start selling your product right off the bat. Now I want to go back, and this isn't the theme that we're going to use today. I just wanted to show you how many themes they had and how every theme is a little different. You can find something you'd like and then work with it. Um, another cool feature they have is their plugins. So we're going to look at that just briefly. So the plugins, the one I like the best here is the Elegant Page Builder. It's drag and drop. It's simple to manage. Now these, I'll be up front with you, these, these plugins come only with the developer model, which is $89 compared to the $39. So let's take a look at the difference between the two memberships. So again, there's 77 themes. You can get them all for $39. So you can use them as many times as you want. Uh, and again, this is per year, so $39 per year. But if you cancel your subscription, you still have access to all the sites you've already, all the themes you've already downloaded and are already implemented. What you lose is the updates and the technical support. And then you can't add any new themes. But with the $39 membership, you get every theme, you get all the updates, you get all the technical support. With the developer model, it's $89. Again, that's per year. And the major difference here is now you can use the plugins like the drag and drop, and there's a few others you can check out too. I'm not going to go into every detail here. The other interesting thing here they have is all the layered Photoshop files. So if you know a little bit about web development, that's pretty interesting. This is actually the... the <coughs> This is actually the subscription I use because I like all the bells and whistles. Uh, I haven't even used all the plugins yet, but what I have used I like so far. The layered Photoshop files, I haven't had to use them yet be because the themes are so customizable, um, but in the future I'm sure I will. So when you're ready, again I'd appreciate it if you go through my affiliate link and then click sign up. 
And I'm not going to go through this process because I already have a membership, but you create your account, submit your payment, and then you're ready to go. So as a member, you're going to log in, but before you do, I think it's best to pick out your theme before you even get in the members area because it's easier to look at them this way. And the theme that I want to use for my site is Nova. So we'll click on Nova just to give a, a view of it. And we'll quickly look at the live demo. And I like Nova. I like this big scrolling banner at the top. You can click through. You can put pictures. One thing I really like, you can embed a video right into your header, which is, is pretty nice. And then below, you've got these nice pages. We can put in a little blog, a little portfolio. We can put in about us. We can Whatever we want, we can put here. And then if we want, we can put our blog separate from that. So where we put our blog post, that comes out in a different page on the website. So I really like this design. This is the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to log into my members area. Again, it shows I have the developer subscription. Now, this is why I said look at your themes beforehand, because it, it's hard to really get a grasp of what the theme looks like just by a little thumbnail and the name. You can do a preview here, but I find looking through the themes page is much easier. So I'm going to scroll down until I find Nova. Here it is, Nova. I'm going to click download. Now because I have the developer model, it shows the, the Photoshop files. If you don't have the developer model, you'll just have the theme package. So we're going to click theme package. And then you want to save this to somewhere where you'll remember. I'm going to save mine right to my desktop. And that's all you need to do. Now you should click on the README here. And they have some nice videos how to help, how to install your theme and how to do a couple of different features like thumbnails and custom logos. So this is definitely worth looking over. Often I don't look at the README files, but this is one that's worthwhile. So now we're going to install a theme. So we're headed back to the, our website and we're going to go to our WordPress dashboard. We're going to go Appearance, then click Themes. We're going to install a theme. You can see the themes we already had installed there. Now we're going to upload a theme because we downloaded the file from the internet. And we'll browse. We'll find Nova. We'll click Install Now. And it's in a zip format, which is what we want. So put the whole zip folder, click Install Now. The theme was installed successfully. We're going to activate. And now let's take a look at how our page changed. So right now it looks pretty bland, pretty basic. There's nothing in that big header. But we've got the theme installed and now we're ready to start customizing. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how I filled that dummy information in before. So we're going to go back to our dashboard and we're going to go down to tools and import and then you're going to click on WordPress and now from here we're going to browse for a file and now inside of that file the Nova folder inside that zip folder there's a folder called sample data and then there's a file called sample you need to take that out I already did and put it on my desktop and then click there and now all you want to do is upload that file now it's going to prompt you here you want to download and import the file attachments and you want to import the ePanel settings so this is kind of that sample site we did that we looked at before the settings that they use to kind of configure that are in this sample page that we put in so then we want to click submit and then we're going to look back at our website and we'll see significant changes so it put in all those sample posts that were in there before with sample pictures it's got the sample set up here. It's got a movie installed. So this isn't information that I want on my site in particular, but it builds the framework for us. So now we're ready to start putting on our own information, but we'll save that for the next video. So I'll show you how to customize this premium theme and then how to start publishing your own content in the next video. So as always, thank you for watching. Please take the time to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, also, if you like Elegant Themes, if you like what you've seen so far, then please use my affiliate link. That's learnhowtostartawebsite.com slash elegant, or you can click on the link in the description below. So I'd appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.